Yeah, man, making use of that approach angle. Didn't even rub the hitch. Awesome. A little bit too wooded in there. I don't want to tear up something. There's the mud pit. Like, get out and go stand down there and get put. I can't believe they went up that. <clears throat> so we went down to our local favorite little area to do some off-roading and I just wanted to kind of look at the, uh, the way that the truck is going to flex out and <clears throat> whether or not those tires are going to rub, you know, it's one thing to put a, a set of tires on your truck out on the street, but it's a whole nother thing altogether to take them off road and start flexing the truck out. And, you know, sometimes you can run into some serious issues there that you don't have on the street. So I just kind of wanted to put it through its paces and see if those tires truly are going to fit. And I'm happy to report that they do. Um, you know, we didn't do anything extreme, but we flexed it out quite a bit on these, uh, these wooded trails along the river. Uh, we didn't get all the footage that we should have, but there was a lot of places where you would drop a tire off into a hole or, you know, climbing up over tree roots or whatever the case might be. So it was a good little exercise to get the frontier out there and see how it was going to do with those tires on it. And it actually did a really good job and it didn't have any rubbing. So the 285-70 R17s do fit really well on that truck. 
Um, now again, I do have a two inch lift on it. I've got 1.5 inch blocks in the rear and a two inch leveling kit in the front. So, you know, take that information and do what you want to with it. There's guys on the forums that claim that they put the same size tires on their stock frontiers and they also didn't have any rubbing. So anyway, a, a 33, 1150-ish class tire will fit on the frontier just fine. So, uh, so that was pretty good. I uh, also discovered that the frontier climbs pretty well. Uh, it doesn't have as much articulation as the Gladiator, obviously, as you could probably imagine but it does do a really good job climbing hills and um you know it's it's fairly compliant there's not a whole lot of travel the suspension travel is not very good on the frontier uh, especially compared to the gladiator and you can really kind of tell that when you get off road you know and really start flexing it out and putting it through its paces you can kind of you can pretty quickly tell that the travel is not what it probably should be for a mid-sized truck um, it would be so awesome if Nissan would build like a Nismo off-road, like awesome mid-sized truck that would compete with like the Ranger Raptor or the Gladiator Mojave or like the uh, Colorado ZR2, you know, these trucks that have just a lot of suspension travel and, you know, just really plush suspension. I'd love to see Nissan build something like that, you know, and they could do it. They've got the resources to do it, but anyway um so yeah the frontier did pretty well though you know and uh, like i said i was mainly just wanting to see if those tires were really gonna fit or if they were just only gonna fit on the street and uh again didn't have any serious rubbing so i'm pretty happy with that so far now the other part of this is the fuel economy you know the fuel economy seems to be obviously it's going to be decreased but it seems to be pretty atrocious so far and i'm going to need a few weeks here to run some tanks through it, do some hand calculations. But right now it's looking like I'm in that 15, 16 mile per gallon ballpark, which is not very good. And if I've truly lost five miles per gallon with these tires, I'm gonna be shocked. So I need some more time to do some testing on that and kind of see where the 285.70s are gonna put me on the fuel economy scale. Good thing is fuel prices are coming down it's under three, excuse me, under four dollars a gallon. We're at like three eighty now, so uh, fuel prices are coming back down, and that's a big deal. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the tires do fit, and uh, now I can move on to something else.